Greetings, it's Dr. Bobby Price, your plant-based pharmacist and nutritionist, also author of Education Over Medication. And today I'm gonna to be explaining to you why you shouldn't eat fruits that don't have seeds in them. And I know that I get that question a lot in my DMs and especially for the people who have read my book. I have an entire chapter dedicated to sort of explaining the breakdown uh, on how you shouldn't eat hybridized fruit or fruits without seeds called the chapter is called The Seeds of Deception. So if you have my book, Vegetation Over Medication, make sure you check out this chapter if you want a more in-depth explanation. But the way I'm going to explain it to you is first, I want you to understand why having a seed and fruit is so, so important. And then secondarily, I'm going to explain to you why today there are so many fruits in the market that don't have seeds in them. Okay, so that's what we're going to go through today. And I hope you sort of get the drift of why it's so important not to eat those type of fruits and to demand we have fruits that have seeds in them in our markets, our local markets today. Okay, so let's first start with the idea of why is it so important to have a seed in fruit? Okay, and the way I'm going to sort of break it down to you is this the life cycle, whether you're talking about fruits or whether you're talking about us as humans all originates with a seed. And what I mean by that is this, a man has a seed and that's called sperm, okay? A woman has a seed that is an egg, okay? Without a seed, they are both infertile. They're not capable of producing offspring, okay? And so it, it helps you understand from a life cycle standpoint how their seed is important to humans first. Secondarily, if you look at fruits, fruits all begin with a seed, okay? And so let me sort of break that down to you. A seed goes in the ground, and we're talking about the original seed, thousands and thousands of years ago. It goes into the ground, grows, creates a mango tree, okay? A mango seed creates a mango tree. That mango tr tree then creates fruit. That fruit is called mango, okay? That mango, if a human comes by, eats it, or an animal comes by and eats it, takes it off a mile or two away from the tree, drops that seed on the ground, it could eventually go into the ground, create another tree, and now it has offspring, okay? If a human or an animal doesn't come by, the benefit is that seed drops to the ground. The seed has a lot of the nutrients in it, a lot of the minerals, vitamins, trace elements, all of those things that power our biological system. So when it drops to the ground, because it's not eaten, at that point, it will go to the ground, nourish the ground even more, and now that tree will be stronger and healthier and grow and produce healthier mangoes. So you can see that life cycle. No matter if somebody comes by and picks off that mango or that mango drops to the ground, it will help to produce more offspring, okay? That seed has a lot of nourishment in it. So when you have a fruit that has seed, in many cases, a lot of the seeds have a tremendous amount of nourishment and a tremendous amount of fiber, okay? So now we understand why it's so important to have that seed connection because it connects us with the life cycle. It connects life to food. And as we always say, we have to eat to live, okay? So now let's explain why there aren't that many fruits in the market that have seeds in them. And like I said before, like going into the market today and finding grapes that have seeds in them is essentially like going into the market and finding a unicorn. I'll go into the farmer's market, get my grapes that have seeds, post them, and I'll get 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 likes, and everybody's commenting, asking me, where the hell did you get grapes with seeds in them? That's how, you know, um, that's how much we've sort of trended away from you know, what is natural. And what I mean by that is when I was growing up as a kid, it was, I, I never had grapes or watermelon or any fruit that didn't have seeds in them, but today is very common. So it's been a short 20 year period where we've walked away from having things that are natural that have seeds in them. So now let's sort of explain or get into why so many fruits today don't have seeds in them. Well, Initially, it probably started off as this process of making things more convenient, meaning if I can get you watermelon that doesn't have seeds in it, then you can eat it more readily and not have to avoid the seeds because many people do that. Same thing with grapes, okay? Now, so it, it probably started off as a hybridization product uh, process, but eventually what happened was genetically modified companies like 
our uh, Monsanto came into the picture and created this terminator gene that could go inside of the DNA of fruits and actually remove the seed from the fruit so that the seeds don't grow inside of the fruit. Now, that may look like in the beginning to be a, 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 a marvel of genius when it comes to adding more convenience so that we don't have to worry about the seeds. But here's where the plot thickens and now we understand what those type of agro companies were doing, agro chemical companies were doing. What they did was they removed the seed from the fruits, but this is how they sort of removed the farmer from the, the equation. Now the farmer, instead of using the seeds from the fruits that he was growing, because that's how it works, as I explained before, you can literally take the seed of a fruit, put it in the ground and grow a tree. That tree will then produce fruit. Like I said, that's the life cycle of fruit. But now you have this terminator gene created by Monsanto. It now can go into the DNA of the fruit, remove out that whole sequence for creating a seed. Now you have fruit that doesn't have a seed. And now that fruit can't be used to actually create more fruit because it doesn't have a seed. The same thing like I was mentioning, when a man doesn't have a seed in his body, he's infertile, okay? And even when they created the hybridized versions of these fruits, that didn't have the terminator gene. In many cases, these hybridized versions, you couldn't take the seeds in them and then put them in the ground and they wouldn't produce an offspring because they were infertile as well, okay? So now you have this company that's removing the seed and now the farmer has to now go buy more seeds from the agrochemical company. This is how they essentially remove the farmer for the, the equation and now the farmer has to pay the agrochemical company for seeds that nature was producing in the first place. Now, what's really dangerous about that whole process is this. Whenever you make genetically modified foods, and again, I talk about this in my chapter, Seeds of a Deception in my book, Vegetation Over Medication, where I break it down very succinctly. When you remove the seeds from the fruit, and you take it through this genetically modified process, you have to spray it with a lot of pesticides and herbicides because nature will attack something that isn't nature. Okay, real recognized, real, so to speak. Okay, so nature will go in and attack this plant that's genetically modified. You'll see all kind of weeds, you'll see all kind of insects, you'll see everything attacking this. So they have to spray it heavily with um, chemicals. Chemicals like glyphosate, which is known to be a carcinogen and cause cancer. As a matter of fact, when you see the people spraying these genetically modified plants, they're all in a hazmat suit. That's how dangerous the chemicals are. And they're spraying the fruit with that. And many of us are under the impression that we can just simply wash it off and it'll be fine, but that's actually not true. We know that those type of chemicals not only get on the skin of the fruit, but they get inside of the fruit as well. And so that's why it's so important not to eat these type of fruits that don't have seeds in them. Because not only do they not have the nutritional value that the original fruit had with seed, they also can produce things like cancer because they have carcinogen, carcinogenic biochemicals in them that will actually cause you to develop cancer, okay? So I hope you have enjoyed the information today. I hope you understand a little bit why it's so important to eat fruits or uh, fruits with seeds in them. And so if you enjoy the information, make sure you like, share, hit that notification button and share this with people who need to get, get this information as well. So until the next time, peace and blessings and Godspeed.